Today in the crypto space, we see the market taking a bit of a dip. Bitcoin still hovering around that $30,000 level. However, coming down to some critical levels of support and Ethereum below that $2,000 mark, not looking so good. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins are pretty much in a buy the dip opportunity scenario. Should we be scaling in? Some of these altcoins are definitely at lower levels. And one of the projects that I want to talk about today is in definitely buy the dip zone. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator but more importantly i want to talk about one bullish altcoin that is dipping down to those lower levels and it is called realio so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go bearish or bullish up or down all we want to do is prepare for any of that volatility so that we can capitalize and at the end of the day we just want to make those gains and if you appreciate that subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action all right guys let's take a look at what's happening here we're going to look at the bitcoin price we're going to look at the general market we're going to look at the bitcoin chart just for us uh, as a leading indication to see where this market is going because we know that if bitcoin comes down all coins also come down but i want to talk about one project that a lot of people are talking about lately and i feel like it's a good bullish narrative regarding tokenizing real world assets and that project is called realio of course we're going to look at the charts very very soon but let's begin by looking at this general market bitcoin coming down to the bottom of the range once again i know it's not a lot percentage wise but the way the structure is looking it looks like bitcoin is trying to roll over ethereum the same thing and many of these altcoins are definitely rolling over you know getting that rounded top you know head and shoulders formation distribution pattern guys i feel like the market's going to take a bit of the dip throughout this summer and we should be prepared to scale in some of these altcoins like look at avax coming down just a bit in the last little while of course, we have some gainers like uh, Bitcoin Cash, BCH up 11.6%. We have Solana up approximately 11% rallying to higher levels. This is actually really bullish for Solana, but I would be very careful because as the market does look like it may be rolling over, Solana is not going to be immune to the negativity. So be prepared to trail up that stop loss. Be prepared to take a bit of profits if Solana keeps on going to higher levels. In fact, maybe we'll take a look at Solana in tonight's live stream. Feel free to join. Tonight, we're live at 7.30 Eastern, where, we, again, we talk about crypto news and price action. Let's continue here. AVAX. AVAX coming down. Of course, a lot of these altcoins are coming down. We have Cosmos, Adam, lower levels, rounding off to the bottom. Let's see. Let's see what else do we got. Ave looking pretty good in the last little while overall up 16 percent but rolling over same thing with the graphs up 17 percent but it does look like in the short term it took a bit of a dip and that's the thing here guys could this be the beginning of a, a, a further continuation to the downside a further back test to those lower levels and we've been scaling into some of these altcoins bit by bit even look at optimism coming down we have render still coming down to those lower levels hovering underneath that two dollar mark for me i'm looking for about a dollar 20 maybe at about a dollar 50 i would consider scaling in even further but overall guys these all coins are coming down a little bit and we should be prepared for further continuation and have a plan all you really do need to have at the moment is a plan what will you do if it continues how much capital do you have reserved to buy the dip look at injective down 3.5 percent such a bullish project but look at this distribution lower lows lower lows lower highs and at the end of the day guys that means the trend is reversing and the trend is your friend until the end it, look at radix for example we came down with a tr uh, downwards trend and we're currently coming down to lower levels down another 2.3 percent down 12 percent overall i'm looking for buy the dip opportunity on, on radix at oversold conditions especially on the daily a, a daily if we get oversold i'll be dabbling in once again buying my position back we have some other altcoins that we've been looking at of course uh caspa another one guys we called the top so perfectly on caspa and i like the fact that my the members on the telegram group are slow and steady being very patient 
following my lead. I think that at the end of the day, we're going to be coming down for further dips and we'll be scaling in at the bottom of the range once again in a good risk toward ratio opportunities. CFX also coming down to those lower levels, down approximately 2.3%. I did buy the dip earlier, but I, I still feel like DCA at these bottom ranges are great. So the overall consensus in the market is that we're actually going sideways or rolling over just a bit. And of course, we're going to have to look at Bitcoin. We're going to have to look at Bitcoin as a leading indicator to see exactly what is happening with bitcoin because bitcoin shows us weakness and we see the bitcoin dominance fall we see you know ethereum come down to those lower levels we can expect fire fire sales throughout the market all right guys i know you're here to talk about charts let's begin by looking at bitcoin what is happening with bitcoin bitcoin at the end of the day um you know took a little bit of a dip back to the bottom of the range we we did you know I, I, at the end of the day analyze this chart very very thoroughly and we identified the fact that you know the bearishness is still there although the price looks slightly upward sloping i mean very very slight the momentum the momentum looks like the bearish divergence still wants to come into play and come down for those lower levels now guys as you see the price is going sideways pretty much as the rsi on the four hour is trying to reset to oversold conditions when it does happen while the price is going sideways guys that is really bullish in fact that's a sign of bullish momentum to continue to the upside guys we're going to take a look at these charts in a little bit more detail so what is bitcoin saying at the end of the day the daily for me is big picture at the at the daily time frame you can see that we are slightly rolling over let's go look at the rsi look at that rejection here that we got into slightly over um bought conditions got a bit of a rejection back tested the momentum and came straight back down to those lower levels guys we could be continuing down for the next little while here on bitcoin and we could be rolling over maybe hitting the breakout phase at about twenty seven thousand dollars guys and we'll see the altcoins kind of take a dip as well take a bit of a beating and then that's when we'll, we'll decide to scale in with a round of buy the dip opportunities look at the uh, macd look at the rsi on this momentum guys look at the macd looking bearish ema cross to the downside red histogram bars forming and that for me means that we should be continuing to the downside big picture now on the four hour it might show us something different a little bit of confusion in fact it looks a bit confused but still the red histogram bars to the downside the ema is facing down that shows me that the four hour also with this red volume could be insinuating that we're going to get a further continuation down after this hesitation here in the chop zone at about 50 percent on the rsi it means that maybe continuation to the oversold conditions is due also on the four hours so we have the daily and the four hour showing us negativity which means guys just be prepared just be prepared that we do come down be prepared that all coins also come down and be prepared with that capital to buy the dip okay guys so today's video is all about rio realio i want to take a look here because we did analyze this breakdown earlier on in the live stream and I in fact i think i do have a video dedicated to realio go check that video out go check out those live streams actually in fact feel free to join tonight's live stream at 7 30 eastern we're going to be talking about crypto news and price action and at the end of the day if you have any projects that you are interested in talking about or you want me to pull out some charts and give you some ta that's the best time and place to actually um, engage in the community all right guys we did get a nice trend to the upside a few touches up and overall we kind of hesitated here we broke up to higher levels we see that we got into very over uh, bought conditions for a long little while and then all, all of a sudden we started getting signs of bearish divergence higher highs on the price action you can see that while the rsi started rolling over and coming down to lower levels and again that's a sign of class a bearish divergence a very strong sign of divergence and here we are breaking down broke trend now what do we do here getting into a short position right now is a bit dangerous because it's very likely that we do get a bit of a back test to higher levels to get that confirmation high a lower high we did not get a lower high so we did not begin any real uh, basically change of structure no lower low no um lower high nothing like that to actually say maybe now we're making lower lows and lower highs to change trends to the downside what we did get is a break of trend basically this trend right here we broke below let's break structure let's break confirm a uh, confirmation high a lower high or a lower low below this low right here what's good about this low is that we got a volume gap 
you can see at about 18 cents we do get that volume gap we have the 200 day, uh, ema on the four hour chart that could act as support if we do come down to this volume gap so it's a bit of confluence here guys if we do come down to this zone here on the four hour we could get a reactive bounce to the upside and that could be a confirmation that could be a bounce come right back up and then finally get that confirmation high right at this level and then roll over for a bigger correction down right we're trying to ride the four hour within a daily time frame setup what is the daily saying the daily is coming from very over uh bot conditions however no signs of bearish divergence on this momentum we do get a bit on the macd but not really guys i should put this on the four hour let's do that quick so we can kind of clean this these lines up this right here let's only make it visible on uh intervals on this interval and below okay and let's do the same thing with the macd let's zoom out just a bit uh let's make the the macd do the same thing intervals and this interval only and below you could actually only make it this interval which is pretty cool uh that way you can have different lines for different time frames but i, I like the below so let's get into the daily you'll see that these lines are now missing i like this line because it shows me the trend even on the daily but the momentum is still going for those higher highs no signs of bearish divergence just yet the macd is looking a bit bearish trying to roll over just a bit green histogram bars to the downside and ema is facing uh beginning to face down with a potential cross to the downside okay guys so we're a bit early on the daily to expect a further continuation so we're getting a bit of confluence with regards to trend let the four hour finish getting into oversold conditions okay let it come down let's see if we get a reaction to the upside and then get that confirmation of a lower high once you get that lower high remember we took profits here this was the profit taking zone and in fact on realio this is, was the buy the dip zone guys look at the perfect entry and exit on realio honestly it's perfect even in here as a back test this was the time to get in based on you know the bottom of the range getting those confirmations great risk to reward ratio uh very um uh, the ice line is very clear for invalidation if you know what i mean if you follow me on the channel you'll know that this is perfect right you'll get in you put your stop loss right underneath these bottoms and if it breaks the bottoms out you get out because they invalidated real quick now what about up here up here that was the back test this was break out of the range w formation break out of the range back test is confirmation we got that green arrow here nice and early and we got a nice pump to the upside and if you were able to catch that one and get out at the red arrows again that's a 40 percent 47 percent pump to the upside and currently you would have taken profit protecting your capital so what we're trying to do now is basically buy our positions back on a dip and the four hour is looking like it's trying to get down to those lower levels i feel like the four hour did dip significantly quick which means that we could get we could get a mean reversion pump to the upside on even lower time frames maybe the one hour what i mean by that is get something like this if we go in the one hour it's for sure it's going to look overbought it got over sorry oversold it did get oversold so it could be on the one hour that we get a bit of a mean reversion to the upside guys you know that i barely go on to the one hour but i just want to be prepared for this that the one hour could bring the price right back up okay and if we get back into the four hour you'll see what i mean we'll back test it on the four hour maybe come right back down get to lower levels maybe come down here get support off the 200 ema um on the four hour chart and this supply gap supply and demand gap here on the vpvr with the green arrow get a bit of a bounce maybe get a higher confirmation and then roll over and come down to this level to buy the dip nice and low and this could happen this could happen something like this could happen in fact it could come down even sooner even after this rejection it could come down even faster stronger you get what i mean i like this level of support previous tops previous bottom nice level of a uh, volume gap it could act as future support to get a nice reaction to the upside and get that confirmation high at these higher levels a lower high and then finally roll over guys things take time here in the bear market they don't happen real quick they take time it gives you opportunities to buy dips and opportunities to scale in at lower levels uh, back tests are very very frequent here on in the bear market because there's a lot of time there's a lot of time to to waste and a lot of time to spend but at the end of the day what you're looking for is educational opportunities and opportunities to buy the dip at lower levels guys 
Thank you for stopping by. If you appreciate what happened here on this uh, video, do the channel a huge favor and slap that like button. It does really help out with the algorithm. Gets this channel going, of course. Um, if you want to follow me on the socials, the links are in the description below. Feel free to hit me up on those socials. Um, if you want to join the, the live stream tonight, guys, at 7.30 Eastern, we're talking about crypto news and price action. Take care, guys. Have a good one. And don't forget, buy the dip.